All right, it is a delicious seafood stew that originated with Italian Americans in San Francisco, California. Chef Sean Ford is back to show us how to make, you say it better than I Chapino. do. Chapino. Chapino. I love this. This is good for this time of year. I feel like us Floridians, we can make soup only a couple months out of the year, a couple weeks. This is it. This is this is it. Key <laughs> ingredient, chicken broth. Yeah, this broth is actually really good. And um, the reason why this broth is excellent is because usually when you make broth at home, you need a big pot and you need a lot of space and it takes a couple hours to boil it and this is much more convenient. Um, they make this with all natural chicken and simmer it with uh, real vegetables uh, that are farm grown and it gives it a nice rich flavor. Um, so again, college and broth. And by the way, people make their own broth. I, it's so easy and it tastes so good. Which is good. <laughs> Why go and through all the used, trouble for that? It can be used in a variety of different things, but today we're going to be making the chipino. Chipino. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, a little bit of oil. Okay. And we're going to add a little onion, about one cup what of onion. What kind of oil? There's so many oils. What kind do you like? Extra to use? virgin olive oil okay. is the best. Um, cold pressed, it's going to get your best flavor. Okay. Um, then we're going to use a little bit of um, onion and garlic. Okay. In there. And you're going to sweat this just until the um, until it's soft. Okay, so you don't have to like fully saute it or and anything. This, this this is also a good um, a great broth because it has no preservatives in it. It has and it doesn't have an MSG flavoring, um, which a lot of products are going mm -hmm. to. And this doesn't have that in there. So after we get our onion a little sautéed here, we're going to add some white wine. Um, you can be liberal on the wine. Okay, we like that, chef. Get that down a little bit. And we're going to take a little red pepper flake. Um, you can use a little bit more if you like it a little spicier. Um, I prefer it spicier, but you mm -hmm. can, or you cannot use it at all. If, but a little bit, you probably won't taste it that much. Um, and we're going to do a I pinch. appreciate. Make your own individual spicy you right. know, when you go to do that. You don't have to make the whole pot And a pinch of oregano and a bay leaf. Okay. And then we're going to add our, our tomato sauce. Here we're using Cantonina. Okay. Which is, uh, again... Um, an all natural, ingredients. no preservatives, tomato sauce, which is excellent. This actually gonna is going to make up a pretty good serving, too. Yeah, yeah, this, serve, this will serve about four to six people. Okay. So then we're going to add the collagen broth. Pour that in the whole box. Well, this, is, this, this box is four cups that okay. it comes in, and um, we are only going to use two cups for this okay. recipe, so a half a box. And then you want to add your clams. You're going to add your clams first because the clams are going to take about 10 minutes to open. Um, just when they pop open, the clams are done. You don't want to overcook the clams or they get tough. Okay, because we're adding other fish to it too, and that can be tricky when you're when you're putting together a seafood dish. So we'll put the clams in there, and the clams will cook for about I'd say five to 10 minutes. They're going to open up, and then when they open up, we'll put the fish in. Mm -hmm. Again, and, for Magic uh, TV, we're going to go ahead and put it in. We're going to put and the then, fish in. okay, so you actually left those pretty. Will those shrink up pretty good? Uh, they're, they stay pretty, you want to keep them pretty good chunk. Okay. And then we're going to add fresh parsley and a little bit of lemon juice. Um, acid always gives uh, a nice little touch to the, to the broth. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said, you can make, you can make a dozen recipes. Um, they're, and they're all on the website. Mm -hmm. But this is the one that we're doing today. And so let it cook. You can cover it for about 10 minutes. Pull it up. Just make sure that the clams are popped open. Okay. And the dish is finished. Um, I'm going to show you the... This is something I could definitely do. Broth. Yeah. yeah. Plate that maybe up, and then again, even on the back, the the, bo the bottom of the box right here, they have this uh, one pan cheddar mac. Who knew that you could even use chicken broth and like a mac and cheese? But there are a ton of recipes, and they're all quick and sure. easy. Yes. So as you can see, we got the fish in there. Mm -hmm. You can use any fish you want too. I I I picked cod and tilapia mm -hmm. for this recipe, but you can use any kind of white fish mm -hmm. as long as it's white, so it doesn't um, have too many oils and flavors. And then obviously you would want to eat it with a little bit of uh, Italian bread okay. to soak up the sauce. And basically, there it is. I love it. Well, great job. Again, a perfect recipe, I think, for this time of year. What I love, certainly, the collagen chicken broth you can get at most grocery stores, right, along with everything else. You're yep. not having to send us to specialty stores. It's easy to easy. find. And then, again, we'll make sure and put this recipe on our website as well, but they have dozens of others. Uh, you'd be amazed what you could put chicken broth in, right? Thank you so much. We look forward Thank to seeing you. you again soon. Appreciate it.